Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about um, something that is getting getting worse, I would say, in, uh, in English football. Certainly in the Premier League it is getting worse. And I'm not usually the person for a rant video, but in this situation I think that something has to be talked about and it's talked about the level of refereeing in the Premier League, not just in the game against Crystal Palace and, and Liverpool yesterday, but also the refereeing in general, because you know the the situation between Crystal Palace and Liverpool and and uh, the referee friend isn't unique, and it certainly wasn't unique yesterday. There were other games that uh, that people were very upset about. So I just wanted to quickly go through it and talk about some of my feelings as to and as to what I think personally they should be doing. So the first one, of course, is our game, the Crystal Palace game, and uh, as you can see here, VAR controversy sees Jurgen Klopp's men fend off a fight back from the Eagles with Fabinho scoring from the spot after first half goals by Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Virgil van Dijk. Now the controversy was that um, late on in, in the game, nearly you know, the 88th minute, something like that, um, there was a collision between a Liverpool player and Gaeta and it looked, you know, it, it, you, from certain angles you could say oh yeah it was a penalty but if you look at it in more detail you will see that as the Liverpool player runs to try and get the ball, Gaeta tries to come out to get it, and then Gaeta realises that he's kicked the ball too far and it's going to go out of play for a, for a goal kick. So Gaeta kind of pulls back, but the Liverpool player kind of launches himself into Gaeta and kind of falls into Gaeta, trying to fool the referee into giving them a penalty. Now initially, the referee, which is friend, he he initially gave it as a no penalty, but VAR checked it. VAR took three minutes, maybe even more than that, to check this decision. Now, I don't think, firstly, that three minutes is anywhere near acceptable to be checking something on VAR. 30 seconds, a minute maximum, I think, should be all they're allowed to check it. Because if you can't make a decision after three minutes, surely it's not that clear cut. And it should do, it should, they should get 30 minutes to a minute, uh, 30, 30 minutes. 30 seconds to a minute, and then it should just revert to the referee's decision. The referee actually said, to his credit, he actually said it wasn't a penalty. VAR said, go and check the screen, which is another delay on top of the time it's taken them to check the particular incident. So he goes and checks the screen, and you know, you know as soon as they go and check that screen, it's going to be given, because they, nine times out of ten, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen a, a situation where they've gone to that TV screen and they've changed their mind. Now, if and, you know, going to that TV screen and it's been anything other than what they've been checking for. So, but let me know in the comments if you know of a decision that's, that, that's gone a different way. But as soon as you go to that screen, you know they're going to give the, the decision that VAR are checking for. And they did, and he did. He gave a penalty, which I think was absolutely scandalous. And Jurgen Klopp said he didn't see it. Course you didn't see it you know where's he going to be looking at that situation at that particular time in the game is he going to be looking anywhere else than at the ball and at the incident that happened you know he was as close as most people were to the incident and they saw it quite clearly so i think he was just bluffing for that but it would have been nice given the fact that he's not shy of coming forward and talking about things that aggravate him not shy about coming forward and talking about certain things that happen and fairness you think that he would be holding his hands up and saying well look it was a penalty that we were, that we had to take, but I don't think it was a penalty. I think the decision was wrong, um, and I think that there should be an overhaul of VAR. You know, I know he doesn't want to get in trouble, but that doesn't stop him from doing and saying things before. Patrick Vera was very vocal about what he said. He said it ruined the game. He said the officials didn't have a very good game, and I agree. It wasn't just that incident. There were a number of decisions in that game that they didn't have a very good game of, and it's it's just. It's not, but it's not just that game. I mean, obviously, you could say, "Well, I'm biased because I'm a Crystal Palace fan," but it wasn't. It isn't just me. If I go into this other, um, another story here, Gary Neville, here, in the, in the Daily Mail, has said, um, "It's not a foul." Gary Neville accuses Chelsea defender Thiago Silva of conning the ref after Harry Kane had a goal chalked off for a push that would have put Tottenham one 0 up at Stamford Bridge. Now, this is slightly different, obviously, because the defender is trying to con the referee. But in that situation, surely VAR should be saying, no, that, that wasn't, a, that wasn't a, a foul. That was actually that was absolutely fine. 
but this is happening more and more often every time now you're getting these poor decisions you're getting referees that are not giving the proper uh, decisions when they need to be done you know referees is a very hard job i can appreciate that they're having to run around they're having to keep their eyes everywhere but in that situation you know the ball is going to be there and i think personally that that should have been checked and it should have been seen if not by the referee then by the referee's assistant on the line there they should have been seeing it and i think this is happening far too often changes have to be made you know you've seen a number of games now where dubious decisions and poor refereeing has cost play cost teams the game and it's, and they're losing credibility not just amongst the fans but amongst the players and the football teams as well and the premier league have got to step up and they've got to say look we need to overhaul overhaul this situation we need to put a maximum time on the on when a VAR, var decision can be done 30 seconds or a minute maximum you can't be doing three or four minutes and then telling the referee to go and look at the screen which takes another three or four minutes you can't be doing that you know they, they said originally when VAR was brought in it wasn't going to slow the game down it was going to be helping the decisions this is slowing the game down we saw a classic case of it slowing the game down yesterday takes the momentum completely out of the game and from that point on although it was right at the end of the game from that point on there was just no point carrying on really because the, the game had been spoilt by that decision anyway that is my rant and i just wanted to, put, to go into a bit more detail not just about the, the liverpool game but also about premier league games in general and how they are suffering as a result of these decisions let me know what you think in the comments. I would love for you to hear your comments about what you thought about, not just the Liverpool game, but about refereeing in general. And also, if you enjoy these videos, please do consider liking and subscribing and everything like that. And if you're listening to this as a podcast, then also think about uh, subscribing to the channel. And also, I do have a Patreon, which I'm going to leave a link to. So uh, if you want to support the podcast in that way, then you are more than welcome to do another. Thank you very much for doing so. Until next time, thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.